My name is Bob Klein. I work for Olentangy Local Schools and teach math. I've been working with formative practices and assessment and project-based learning six or eight years. About two to three times a week, uh, we, we start off with a um, kind of evidence game where the students come into the classroom and they are looking at uh, specific targets and I've narrowed down their focus. With this evidence game, they come in and today we're in the middle of a unit. So there's all these questions on the board and they have an opportunity to review. We go up and we read the questions that we already learned and some new questions. We make sure that we know the answers to them and if we don't know, we can ask a friend to help us understand it before he actually holds us accountable. Some of the learning targets are new and some of them are older. If they're older, he uh, thinks that you will know them and if he calls on you, then you have to have the right answer. If you don't, he wants you to come in during like your free time so he can help you out with it. I got a ratio of two to five blue to red marbles. I've got 24 blue marbles. Determine how many red marbles there are. Right? How many red marbles are there? And I don't want the answer. I don't care about the answer. Talk about the process. What do you do to determine how many red marbles there are? Katie. You would make a proportion. In what way? How? How we set it up? You would do 2 over 5. 2 to 5. 24 over x. But one of the things is, how did you know 2 went on top and 24 went on top? Why, why that? Because the ratio is blue to red, and so you have to put blue and blue on the top, and then red and red at the bottom. Great. So I go through this process of these ongoing questions, and eventually I move to the new questions, and then the uh, process kind of shifts a little bit where it's, everyone can relax and they could just, tell me what you know now. Now, we're going to talk about these, and we're going to talk about them as a whole, as a class. Um, and so these ones, when you leave today, make sure you read them. If you don't know them, just come see me, and I won't call on you tomorrow. So I'm gonna talk about these questions next, of how do you make something bigger? How do you take something that's small, and you can't just put it on a copy machine and say, enlarge, enter. A lot of teachers, and I've had this before, they will, if you get a question wrong, they'll just go to the next person, whether you know what the answer to the question is or not. If you don't understand how it works, they'll just keep going, and you'll just have to travel at the back of the pack and just hope for the best. With what we're doing, you will be able to talk to him and you'll be able to figure out and he won't let you not know the answer. Everyone has to be active. Everyone has to be involved. That's their only role as a student when they come into my classroom. They have to be active, they have to be involved. If they don't know something, it's my responsibility as long as they're taking ownership. <laughs>